Hi, this is Ken from the Free Plane Community. This is going to be a video about opening multiple views so that you can see more than one map on a Free Plane workspace at the same time. I'm using Free Plane version 1.6.1 Alpha, which is current as of February 27th, 2017. Uh, but the features work the same in the current stable release, which is 1.5.18, with a few minor exceptions. Right now, we're looking at the workspace, and uh, we have I have a few tabs open. But if it's possible to open more than one view at a time, so I'm going to click right here. This is going to restore all the map views that I have. And you can see now that it changes on the edges, the left side and the right side. I'm going to maximize this just to show you that again. Now watch on either the left or the right side when I restore. And you can see that over here and over here there are uh, kind of a little gap. If I drag that over on this one, you can see that I've got different, it's like now I have three workspaces and over here I have another one which I use for I'm going to center this that's this is where I just keep miscellaneous ideas but I know where to find it every time I need it this over here has some free plane uh, related material that I'm using as part of a documentation project project this over here has some things related to uh, Bible study of a technique called phrasing that Bill Mounts has developed. Uh, so anytime, and I can maximize any one of these, so now that's the only uh, view I'm seeing, and those are the only maps I'm seeing. If I restore this again, and I maximize this one, now I'm looking at free plane stuff, and that's the only view I'm looking at. So this is really handy sometimes, and I'd like to show you how this is done. I'm going to drag this over. And right now I'm in a uh, map that I used to keep uh, Bible study notes in the four Gospels of the New Testament. And I'm in Matthew 15, chapter 15, verses 29 to 31. And at the first part of this, he's, uh, Jesus is traveling to places. And uh, and I remember this is my symbol for a parallel passage. Again, I'm in Matthew here. But Mark also deals with it, the Gospel of Mark. But he goes into a little bit more detail and says that uh, they went to the region of the Decapolis. And I remember that I have a map. This is a large map. And uh, if I press escape to get to the root, I noticed that I had previously remembered that it was in a dictionary section on the Decapolis and maps. And here's the map right here. But I want to keep the map open while I look at the current patches I'm studying. So I'm going to go up here to, uh, with this uh, Gospels map selected, I'm going to go to View and create a new map, new map view. Now I have mapped that to Control Alt Shift N. I I don't can't remember what the initial default is, uh, but if you go to View New Map View, the default on or the uh, current mapping will be shown here on your system. So I'm creating a new map. So now I have Gospels and Gospels Two. I'm going to drag. You just hold your left mouse button, drag down into the work area, and you start seeing this. Uh, rectangle. Anywhere I move, I, it, the rectangle kind of moves with me. And wherever that is, if I, that's where I'm allowed to uh, park this new map view. So I'm going to park it right here by letting up the left mouse button. So now I have two copies of the Gospels. So over in this one, and it's really handy to uh, position this one as close as you can to this divider when you see this uh, two-headed arrow that's the divider between your map views if you put it right next to that divider and then drag the divider 
it will uh, allow you to size that where you want it. And I want to put this in presentation mode here so that I'm not distracted by anything else in this uh, map view. Now this is a little different in the uh, 1.5.18. If you turn on the uh, presentation mode in one map view, it turns it on in the other which that's one of the reasons I'm using this 1.6.1. So now I'm back in this map. I press escape to get to the root and I have a, a link that takes me right here to the current uh, passage I'm studying. So now I can, while I'm making my notes, I can refer to this map. And if I don't want to use it right now, I can maximize this. I don't see the map. If I want to take a quick look at the map, I can do it without having to navigate through this map from one part of the map to a completely distant part of the map. Now if I want to uh, undock this, I can, and I can. now it's a floating, um, it floats, I can put it on a separate monitor, which I have, which you, you can't see, but, uh, and then I can redock it. If I'm through, uh, I just press this, and it gets rid of the uh, of this view. And anything I do in here is reflected over here. So it's really handy, uh, especially in large maps. And it's also handy when you want to manip manipulate things. I'm going to close this map view. And I'm going to go down to... I'm going to uh, go here. Don't go down to chapter 16. Up to the first pericope there. And go to this parallel passage. It's handy sometimes. Now this is in Bible study. But in other uh, areas of study I assume it would be the same way it's handy to be able to look at the different uh, places where an episode in the Bible is uh, has a corresponding passage in another one of the Gospels. So, and this is, it's pretty useful to be able to use the multiple map views to get this uh, worked out. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go to a new map and paste it in. I'm going to go offline here and do a little bit of rearranging so that this is the way it was, so you can see how it was initially when I brought this in from my Bible study program. So I'll be back in a second. So this is when I brought the different uh, passages in from the different books into this mind map. This is initially how it would have looked. And it's... Uh, this is a little too small for my eyes to deal with, so I, if I jack it up here, then you can't see everything at once. So I simply made a, another map view, dragged it over here, come back to this new map. Now I can see everything. It's, it's still the same map view again, but here I can now... Um, On, or fold those back in so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And now I can start and I can fold this a little bit. So now I want to bring these over one by one to match what I have in Matthew. First thing I'm going to do is select all of those and bring them under so it's like a table now in Matthew at least. These are, this is the heading, column heading, and these are the uh, cells underneath the column. So I just have to go through, and, and uh, this is talking about uh, people demanding a sign. Over here in Mark, uh, they demand a sign. So this is related over here. Now, again in Mark... Uh, Okay, this is talking about uh, reading the sky and deciding what the weather is going to be like. Um, 
This is, uh, why do they demand a sign? Only an evil lead generation would demand a miraculous sign. I'm going to put that back down here. And, uh, then he went in a, a lake. They went away. So this is also related here. So now I'm, I need to make this heading relate to this. So this is done for Mark. And Luke would be the same way. Luke is a little bit different. I'm going to see if I can close that down. Whoops, sorry. Okay, I see why. I, I thought I could uh, bring that down. Maybe I can. Let's put in a new parent here. Shift, insert. And I'll just put to ASDF. To re so that's temporary. And then I'll uh, minimize that here. So now I, I'm not uh, seeing all this other stuff. All right, so uh, this doesn't really relate. It's, it's talking about weather events, but this is talking about uh, red skies, and this is talking about clouds. But we'll say it's uh, the same thing. But we want to have this as a column over here next to mark so we need to put in a a new node here and I'm going to make it resize to when it's about there and uh, so here's the signs of the times he's I'll just put both of these here and I, I this is a work in progress you can change it later but uh, so you interpret the signs um, you know how to interpret. So this is again, I'm going to come over here and press Control shift c to copy just that node. Paste it back here. So I have a kind of a spacer. Put that here. And then I'm going to drag. Let's open that up. I'm going to drag that here. So now, I'm all done here so I can close this. And now I have my parallel uh, passage chart. So anyway, uh, multiple map views can be a real help in working with big maps or when you're manipulating maps and, and uh, it's too much information on one map view to see everything. And now finally I would go ahead and uh, just select all these, move them over and come up here and delete my ASDF. So I uh, hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.